in Christ. Amen. I thank God for those things that we have not even seen yet, but they are already released. Amen. We bless the Lord in the house today. <clears throat> we thank God for those that are joining by way of internet. We are Wings of Biggest Christian Church located 1418 Avenue Drive in the beautiful city of Durham, North Carolina. God bless you for joining in today. We thank God for those that are here. I'm glad you are here. Amen. I have preached to the wall before, but it's good to have some people, some live people in the house. Somebody said, woo, let, let's stand here, God, and pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We magnify you, God. We glory in your presence. For it is your presence, there is fullness of joy forever. And God, we thank you for those things that our eyes have not seen and our ears have not heard. Those things, God, that you reveal by your spirit, even the deep things, God. And we declare today, God, that deep calls unto deep. We thank you for those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, God. Your word has declared that they shall be filled. And God, we pray that you would fill this house, God. That every need be met, there be no lack in the house, God. We speak. Oh, God, prosperity, we speak health. Oh, God, we speak, oh, Father God, wholeness to this body of believers. And, God, we thank you, God, even now that you are restoring. And I even hear resurrecting, God. There are some things that you are bringing back to, to life, oh, Father God, that one might have thought was dead, but you said, no, I resurrect that thing today. And God, I thank you, God, even now as you breathe new life, oh God, into our heart, that our spirit man comes alive today, oh Father God, and God, that we begin to see from a different realm of the spirit. And God, we thank you, God, even now for that vision, God, that we're able to see, oh God, even around us. We thank you, God, for 360, God, that we're able to see. And God, we thank you, God, that even as we see, we anticipate. We anticipate the goodness of the Lord. We anticipate uh, that we walk into victory after victory after victory. And God, we thank you, God, that even now that you put a readiness within us, a readiness to do, a readiness to say yes, a readiness to get on board. And God, even in the spirit realm, God, even as there's a sound from heaven, Oh, God, we receive that sound. We react to the sound. Even as the conductor blows the horn, God, and say, come aboard now. And, God, we do in the spirit now, God. We say for those, oh, Father God, that have been lagging behind, that they will come up on board and be ready to move. And, God, we thank you for that, that you are doing where you are taking us. Oh, God, we thank you, God, even for our final destination, oh, God. And we thank you, God, even as we are on that on that way, O oh God, to please you, God. And God, we thank you for every stop that we must take, God. We thank you for what you are doing, and we thank you for the word that you put in my heart to share with your people. That will bring illumination, that will bring understanding and revelation, O oh God, that we might run a little further, God, and that we might gain strength. And God, we declare that we cover, recover all today. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus for the boldness of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Anybody got Holy Ghost boldness? Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Holy Ghost boldness. Uh, anybody feeling like running through a troop and leaping over a wall? We declare that no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. We know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we could ever ask or think. No weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. I thank God that we are eagles. We know who we are. We soar up above the pestilence. I thank God that he has us in a place where the enemy can't go. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. You can be seated again. If you want to stand later, it's all right with me. I like a live church. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Do y'all have my, my, my title, my message, and all that today? Did I send it? Oh. Well, I just had to speak it out. I wanted, I wanted to be seen if y'all can put it up there. Just the words, just the words, just the words, because they're going to have to, I believe that this is, this title, you need to just look back to it. I, I want to kind of, before I really get into the preaching part, I, 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 as I was studying, I was led to go into a place, praise God, that speaks from the history of this nation. Amen. But it's going to align with what God is saying to us today. And the message is entitled, Pursue to Receive. Just simple. Pursue to Receive. Pursue to Receive. Anybody have any expectations of receiving? Whatever it is, whatever it is, amen, whatever it is that comes from the heart of God, do you have an expectation to receive? You must pursue. Amen. You must pursue. And I was and I and I I began to think about the California gold rush and is and from the they said from 1848 to 1855 here in the United States of America there was a gold rush that began on January 24 1948. And uh gold was found by a man named James W. Marshall at Sutter's Mill in Colombo, California. Amen. Gold was found. And somebody said, when something as precious is found, the word, get, the word gets out. Amen. When something precious is found, the word is going to spread. When God began to move in the supernatural in wings of eagles, somebody going to know it because somebody going to tell him. Amen. The enemy might try to shut you down, but something on the inside is going to have you to release it. Something precious is happening. Healing and deliverance is the portion there. So the news got out about gold being found in California, and they said approximately 300 people began to flock to California from all over the United States and from abroad, because somebody, one person, found gold, which is considered to be precious, and they began to flock to California. Amen? But you got to understand in the pursuit, pursue to receive. In the pursuit, you got to just visualize this. Uh, uh, United States is a, is, a, is a big nation. As we're looking at, the, looking at it geographically, it's big. From coast to coast, they became, began to flow on their destination in pursuit of gold. You got to visualize them leaving from the East Coast and going through the, through the, through the forest and <clears throat> going through uh, the wilderness. And, but on the way there, I can, I can imagine the wild animals out there. Somebody said some, some wolves was out there. Somebody said it was a wolf. It was some wolves out there. But they were desperate in their pursuit. Amen. But like many of us, you know, like many of us that, that, that's wise, you map out a strategy, don't you, before you begin to go anywhere. Anybody just get in the car and not navigate it and thought about where you're going? But I, I can imagine them having a plan set to get to California. Perhaps somebody had uh, telegrammed them and told them this is the route to take. But on their way, I can imagine that some people took the wrong turn, got lost for a moment, had to turn all the way back around to get to that point where they got off track in their pursuit to get to California. Somebody going to get it in a minute. Amen. Amen. But they, they had a heart for something that, that's precious. I'm willing to go back 100 miles from where I got lost that I might get to that place. And I can imagine them having to cross over, cross over rivers and cross over uh, uh, streams and, 
and they had to find a place where they could cross over to get to California where the gold is. That is our walk with Christ. Amen. In our pursuit of those things that are precious, we got to continue on our journey, being tunnel vision, being focused, amen, staying on course. And I can imagine there was some, oh, my God, they got a little further and began to hit the mountains. And, my God, the mountains are treacherous, amen. The mountains will call you to slip and fall if you don't stay directly on course. They had to go through the mountains and come down into the valleys. Anybody having any valley experiences? In your pursuit, praise God, to receive. You got to go up to high sometime. You, you feel like this place, it, it feels just greater than I want to high than I want to go. But God said you need to come up higher. But my God, you have to overcome your fears and your intimidation in your pursuit of that is precious. And then you're going to have those valley experiences where you feel like, my God, I feel like turning around. I feel like giving up. Is it worth it all in my pursuit? And all of a sudden, you might begin to lose your vision and your focus on that that you first imagined that you were going to receive. From all over the nation, they came. And then there were others that came from other nations, probably from Europe and other nations, my God, getting on a steamboat or whatever it was to come to California and then having to take that trail, my God. But they were determined. Amen? But they all came in pursuit of gold, which they deemed to be precious and would bring them wealth. That's what it was all about. Amen? They had a dream. They had a dream. If I can just go and strike gold, wealth is my portion. But even understanding when you get there, there's a process. Oh, my God, there's a process. There's a process. So they had to have to get some equipment on the way or, or brought something with them. They had to do some digging. They had to do some panning or whatever. If they wanted to go to the stream to find it, they had to have something to, to, that was, that was going to be able to gather the gold, something that was going to be able to uh, catch it, amen? So there had to be a plan there in order for them to go forth and receive that which was precious in their sight, amen? So many in their pursuit of gold sold all that they had to follow a dream of becoming wealthy, sold out. How many of us have we sold out for that which is precious? We've got to sell out if we're going to receive everything that God has promised us. We got to sell out. Give it all up. Hey, man, I'm not selling you, telling you nothing to go sell your house and your car today. I'm talking about you, you your spirit man. Hey, Amen. I'm sold out to God. It's in him that I live and move and have my being. I am a son of God. I'm called by God. Amen. I give myself away. I set myself apart. Sell out to him in your pursuit of that that God has promised you. Some crossed the mountains and the valleys. Amen. Others were willing to cross oceans and, every, and all of that. Amen. And, but they were persistent in their believing that they're going to receive the goal. So it's, it's in our persistent pursuit of that which God has released, we receive that which is precious in his sight. So we got to be persistent and believe that we're going to receive that which God has already released. Somebody says it's in the earth realm. It's in the earth realm. Amen? It already has been released, but we just have to line up to that place, to that thing, or that promise, amen, or that that he has already set in place to receive that which is precious, amen. So I thank God that is in the earth. And I declare, as it is in heaven, so it is in the earth. We got to begin to have that mindset, amen, that the kingdom of God has already come, amen. So over in Proverbs 25 and verse 2, the word of God says, 
It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Amen? The heaven for height, the earth for depth, the heart of the kings is unsearchable. Amen? So we already established a few weeks ago as we were looking at 1 Peter 2 and 9 that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Amen? So we understand who we are. Hey, we are the call out ones. Amen? God has called us out. He, he declared that we're kings and we're priests. And we need to understand that we have to learn to search out a matter. The Word of God says here, the honor of kings is to search out a matter. I believe that we glorify God when we begin to search. When he see that we have a determination that we want it all. Somebody say, I want it all. God been dealing with me. Sometimes I settle too much. When God has more, I thank God for the word released over me this morning. I got, I, I'm beginning to declare I want it all. Amen. Because as I receive, praise God, that that I need to release or, or desire to release, I can release it to others. And sometimes we gather all we can as the old saying, and we put it in the can and we sit on the can. But I, I believe that our basket ought to be full, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. Amen. That others might receive other blessings that we have received. Anybody want to be blessed enough to try to outgive God? You can't outgive God. I, I've experienced it in my life when God has, has, has called my wife and I to sow into others' lives and sow into ministries. As long as we sow, the blessings flow. Amen. Until he said, that's enough. Amen. See, sometimes people, we can become reliant on you in giving. And God said, now it's the time to shut it down. Uh, you fed them enough. Amen. They ought to be hefty enough. You've given them enough uh, of, of understanding and knowledge, praise God, to do it on their own. You've showed them. You've demonstrated to them how they can go out and do it. That's enough. Amen. So don't get caught up now where, where people are standing at your door and knocking every day because you gave it to them daily. When God said, that's enough. All right, that's for somebody out there. Don't be used. Don't, don't let them use you. Amen. So we see here, amen, a God conceals the thing. I thank God for those things that, that seem to be hidden. But if God has already released it from heaven, so shall it be in earth. But we got to pursue we got to pursue. We have to have a desire. God, give me revelation. God, give, give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. Help me to understand. God, I'm hungry. I thirst. Amen. He has promised that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Amen. So we got to get in that place where we desire the more. I know that it's more for me. I know I'm in a good place now, but my heart, my heart uh, craves for the more. My heart craves for those things that's deep. And I believe we're in a place now where deep is calling us to deep. There's a place in God, amen, where you have to walk out, praise God, and everything around you seems to be over your head. Anybody got that? Oh, uh, all of a sudden fear tried to creep in. But God said, pursue, pursue. Go on out into the deep. Go on out into that place where you have to rely on me. Y'all ever seen a kid learning how to swim? Throw him out there. And this, this is about far they want to go. You know, just flap a little bit. I can just hold on to it. But God is taking some of us out there we ain't got nothing to hold on to. <laughs> But him, God, unless you move, I don't know what I'm going to do. Amen. But I'm going to pursue. I'm going to pursue. I'm going to go out into the deep, praise God. And we got to learn how to search out a matter. I thank God as I was meditating that the, the, the wealth of what God has given us in our brain and our capacity to receive is so great. We, we, we rave about computers and, and AI and all of that, but it's man that programs the computers. 
It's through man's wisdom that came from the heart of God that we program. So our capacity is greater than artificial intelligence. It's greater. Don't, don't, let the, don't get too nervous now. Amen. Because that that comes from the heart of God who made man and everything in it dwells in us. Amen. So, so we're going to search out a matter. We, wanna, we want to, you know, uh, take, it to the, take it to the limit. Anybody ever read line in the spirit? Y'all don't know nothing about red line, do you? Some old, old car racers back in there, they just take it to the, feel like the motor going to blow up. But I'm going on. This the, I got my, the pedal all the way to the flow boat. Flow boat. That's where we ought to go sometime. I, God, you got me at my capacity. It seemed like I'm being overwhelmed. God said, there's more. There's more. There's more. Well, I'm taking you, you're going to need this now. So that hunger and the thirst began to develop in your pursuit of God for the more. My God, you, 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 you go into that place of study, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to pull away for a minute or two, and then you take a nap and get back up and go in again. And he's still there where you, where you left for a moment. Amen? He said, the heaven for height, the earth for dirt, for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. I thank God for that he's put in our heart. I thank God that we receive of his spirit. Amen? I thank God for the greater that we have received because of our walk with God. So looking at that word conceal, praise God. It said it, it, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing. That word conceal meant to hide by covering, to keep close secret, to hide or be hidden. There are some things that God has to hide to the babes. Babes are not ready for everything. Babes get hold to some things, some weaponry, and not being trained, it can go out and do more, da more damage. You go out and have friendly fry in the church. Y'all ever seen friendly fry in the church? Where a novice get the hold of a little revelation. They just got that all of a sudden, they, they, I don't want to put nothing in your heart, but it's some crazy stuff can go out with, with a babe. Give a babe a mic. Give a babe a title. Uh, lay your hands suddenly on a babe, and, and I'll tell you, trouble is coming. All right. You don't want to sit in, on, on, on that road with a babe where they want to elbow you in the side, and you're trying to hear what the preacher's saying. All of us, okay. It is the glory or the honor of God to conceal a thing. It's an honor of God. Amen. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. So we glorify God in our pursuit of those things he has concealed. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, that in your time and you released to me. My God, if I would have received it earlier, I would have made a mess. Aren't some of you all glad that you weren't able to do what you desired to do uh, 10 years ago? That house, that car, that, that marriage. But God said, I must hide this thing from you now because you're not ready. You got to mature. You got to release some things. Your mindset has to change. Your expectations have to change. You got to learn how to live together as where two becomes one. You're too set in your ways. Oh, my God. So God said, I just hold this back from you. And there are some spiritual things that he will hold back from us because we want to just feel like we just powerful and go do anything we want to do anywhere at any time. Amen. Paul, uh, the, uh, uh, the Lord prevented Paul from going over in Asia. This man of God made a man of God. But God said, no. God ever said, had to say no to anybody. You're not ready for that, my God. I used to hear people talking about they going devil hunting. The devil was right. Was right there. You didn't have to hunt. He was right there with that prior. All right. Okay. Proverbs 3 and 13 say, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Let us work with wisdom and understanding today. Happy is the man that findeth. 
that seemed like you had to pursue it. Amen. Wisdom is there. Wisdom is here in the earth realm, but we have to find it. Happy is the man. When you find it, my God, you begin to rejoice. When you receive a word of wisdom, when you receive a word of knowledge, you began to rejoice. When that, that is greater than your capacity, and all of a sudden, God began to release it to you. When you can be in the presence of a man or a woman, and God began to show you the condition of their heart just by conversation. Happy is the man when you began to receive that kind of understanding. Amen. And then you have a word that comes from the heart of God and able to release it. Happy is that man that you were able to speak into his life that his life is now set on course. That's where God wants us to be. Amen. Where words of wisdom and words of knowledge began to flow up out of us. Out of our belly flow those rivers of living water. Amen. Because we have first pursued him and then received of him that we can go pour into somebody else. I thank God that he uses us, my God, as conduits of tributaries. Amen. We pour, praise God, because we have received from the greater. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And God has called us to go into all of the world. I'm, I'm still on that trail now. I, I'm still seeing that trail to the California where the goal is. But we got the flow. Somebody said we got the flow. We got the flow as we go. I can imagine they had to speak to some things. They had to speak to some fears. They had to speak to some intimidations, my God, and speak, to, and speak to some naysayers that was on board. I can imagine all those wagon carts going down some, some dangerous trails, and everybody wanted to bail out. Everybody, and you got to go get half of your family and put them back on. My God, the wolves are out behind us. You got to keep going unless the wolves catch up. Get back up in this wagon. How many of us have bailed out prematurely? But you were the source. You, you, you were able to supply the need, but you became intimidated and afraid, and you bailed out prematurely. And you had the, you had the picks and the pans that were going to help to gather, and you decided you're going to go back on your own. For the merchandise of it, talking about wisdom and understanding, it's better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof of fine gold. So we're pursuing now. They, in America during that time, they were pursuing the gold. But our pursuit today is for wisdom and understanding. I just say what I just heard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, give me liberty, give me death. Give me wisdom and give me understanding. And that's what I want. If I, can get, if I can get some wisdom and understanding, I can get my liberty. I can get my freedom if I understand the matter. If I have wisdom, sometimes I can pick a lock in the spirit. You might have thought you had me shut down, but because I have wisdom, I can unlock that door. And somebody being set free right now from the word, from the word, just being set free. And the spirit ram used their skeleton to keep it. Back in the day, those old houses had doors with a, like a master key. It'll just fit any, all of the doors in the house. Just one key. All we need is one word from the Lord is able to deliver us from bondage. One word from the Lord is able to take us from glory to glory. One word is able to take us into a wealthy place. One word is able to bring healing and deliverance. God, give me understanding. Help me to understand your word. Help me, oh God, to receive the word of God from the Old Testament to the New. God, I ask the Holy Spirit to tie the scriptures together that I might understand, that I might receive wisdom. My God. For there as fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not compared unto her. All of our heart's desires, when we get wisdom and understanding, it, my God, it cannot compare. All these, all these earthly things, all these temporary things is not more precious than getting wisdom 
and understanding. Let the days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are all uh, are ways of pleasantness, and her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. My God, let us lay hold. Lay hold of the wisdom and knowledge that comes from above. Have a desire. God, give me a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. Give me a desire for the truth. God, I want to live holy. God, I want to know your ways. I, I, I want to, in the spirit realm, to, to even as John laid in the bosom of, of Christ Jesus, God, I want to be closer to you that I might hear. Oh, my God. Happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom have founded the earth. My God, the same spirit, amen, that was in Christ Jesus is in us. In the beginning was the word, the word was God. The word is still God, amen. And his spirit is in us. And we ought to begin to to, to be doing some foundational things. We ought to establish some things because we have received of the Spirit of God, because we have knowledge, because we have wisdom, because we have a desire for more. Somebody got to develop a desire for more. It's all right where you are, but there is greater that lies ahead if, if, if you would begin to step out on faith. You began to walk in faith. You began to have a vision for the more. There is more to be obtained, amen, that's in the earth realm for the believers. By understanding have he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, my God, and the clouds drop down the dew. By his knowledge the depths are broken up. I want more. I want more of him. So we got to ask this question. What is that thing that seems to be the deep, be too deep for you to understand? Seek the knowledge of God. You know, some of us, we're still in that baby, that little kid state. You know, when you get to talk, y'all want to really have a conversation about God. Let's start talking to a child about the things of God. They'll make you just close your mouth and say, you, got to act, you just got to wait till you mature. Uh, somebody with more understanding uh, can answer that question. Amen? But I thank God that he reveals to us that that we need for the moment. That that we need for the moment, he will reveal it. So we as humans will never understand all there is to know about God and what he has for us. We're not going to ever understand it all. But we got to continue to pursue as if we're going to receive all of it. You understand what I'm saying? Don't limit yourself because you've been in a place, praise God, where you did not understand. All of us go through that place where we didn't quite understand. But we walk by faith and not by sight. We can understand. We have a, a level of understanding of what we can see. But those moments when we are walking, not seeing anything, not hearing anything, where are you, God? And you began to search yourself, God, did I backslide? Did I sin? And you having those kind of prayers at home. Uh, crying and weeping, God, uh, I'm sorry. Did I miss you, God? When you're out there in the deep and, and, and you're seeing to be flopping and flailing around, God is still there. We as kingdom citizens need to learn to search out what God has released to us. Some of us, we're dreamers. We're dreamers. We, we see in part, amen? We see a, a portion of what God is saying, amen? But we got to learn how to seek it out. Go and search out the matter, amen? Go and search out words. God began to release words and, and pictures to our mind. And we got to sometimes go into the Word of God or go into a dream book or something or, or, or ask the Holy Spirit, give me revelation. We got to learn how to pray after we dream. And some of us, we just rather get on the phone first. I probably hear somebody saying, I, amen. Pray first before you call. 
Many times in my, in my dream life, if I get settled for a moment, he even began to talk, talk it through. I thank God I got a partner right, right next to me that I can wake up and we can talk it through sometime. And while I'm talking, I get the revelation. But for you all that are single, talk to God. Amen. See, if, we're back, if us two don't get it together, we, 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 we'll take it to the Lord. Okay. I ain't got all over there. But I'm going to help somebody out. Amen. Let me read that again. We as kingdom citizens need to learn to search out what God has released to us. The word of God says over in Isaiah 55 and 8, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. We want to deal with that. There come some times in our life where it seems, my God, we're on fire. Everything just working. And my God, we, we just know we're in the flow. And we all are sick, and we all we all are like packing a lunch. Anybody ever packed the lunch for the journey? I know we don't do that now. We got we got all these cash apps and all this other stuff. And we just drive through and get a meal. But back in the day, you had old greasy brown bag that you took to wherever you were going. But and while it was flowing, you packed the lunch. Amen. While your mama was making your sister make, give me another sandwich. And we ain't called sandwich, sandwich. Give me another one because I, I don't want to get hungry. You ever packed the lunch, lunch so you wouldn't get hungry? Okay. That's this when, 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 while he might be found, get all you can from the Lord. Stay alert. Stay awake. Amen. While the anointing is flowing, stay awake in church. Please stay awake, awake in church. We don't want to call you. I saw a, a preacher one uh, night, just had a bottle of a uh, glass of water, just threw it on him. I'm drunk by most of my water. Y'all might be safe. <laughs> Amen. Uh, let the wicked forsake his way. He's giving you a road map now how to get to that place where you can seek the Lord while he may be found. There are some issues in our life that hinder some of us in our pursuit of those things that are precious. And he began to share with you. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. That's what God is calling some of us is to return to him. Return to, with, that, with that, uh, that, 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 that faith when you first received him. My God, when we first fell in love with the Lord, we told everybody. We just couldn't wait, my God, to tell somebody, I'm saved now. I've given my life to Christ. I, I'm not going back that way anymore. I have a desire for more. You got your Bible, and you're, not, you, you, you're reading all you can understand, praise God, and, and you're just uh, sleeping with the Bible. Y'all, anybody still sleep? Sleep with them. Okay. You know, we just had the Bible where we went. The Word of God. All I wanted, the Word, the Word, the Word. Amen? Praise God. Return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. He will forgive. Amen? As you never sinned, if you missed it, come back to the Lord. Ask for his forgiveness. Uh, 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 David said, create me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. I sin against you and you only. Amen? We want to get to that place where he might be found. Let us get it right with God first. We just can't roll up on God any kind of way. Stinking and nasty, just coming out the hog pen, and don't feel a need to repent. The devil is a lie. You need to repent. God has so much more, praise God, for us. Amen. He said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. So we got to pursue for those things that are above. We pursue for those things, God, that we can only get by coming in your presence. God, our heart's desire is for more. God, we want to be filled. Fill us now with your spirit. Fill us with understanding. Fill us with wisdom. Fill us with love, God. Fill us with your joy and your peace, and that peace which surpasses all understanding. God, I'm going to operate in the max. 
we hear I still have people now when you fill fill up at the gas tank, you just got to hit that button again. You just get a little bit more gas. I I I quit quit trying, and now they got these pumps. Now they just cut off one. You just keep hitting the trigger. Ain't nothing else coming out. I like to operate in the max when I'm driving. I I don't I don't want to get empty, you know. Because I don't ever know why I might be called. Somebody in desperation, here I am, and, and, and my light already is shining. Uh, you need to go to a pump. Show me a little yellow gas pump. Let us stay filled up. Amen. When desperation, people that are desperate are calling you, you don't have to go on a, you ain't got time for fasting for 40 days. They are crying out right now. My son, my daughter, my home, my finances, my health. And here you are, so, yeah, I get back with you uh, next week. Just, just let me get, get, get right with God. That old song, get right with God and, and do it now. And now it's the time. Let's seek him while he might be found. His presence is ever with us now. It's now. We're in a, now, a time of now, praise God, For God is pouring out of his spirit upon all flesh. And it's a promise that his sons and daughters shall prophesy, and old men shall dream dreams. And do I have it? I always kind of mix that up. And, and other ones give, uh, have received visions. Amen? So God has so much more that he desires to reveal to us, and we are, are willing to search it out. We got to be willing to search it out. Uh, but Paul told his spiritual son, Timothy, he gave him a road map, praise God, to success. He said over oh, in 2 Timothy uh, 2 and uh, 15, study. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. When we rightly divide the word of God, amen, it opens up doors, praise God. Uh, to, to the miraculous. It's open up the doors, praise God, to that that calls you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. It opens up your doors to knowledge and understanding, but you have to commit yourself to study. It opens up a way for you to be rooted and grounded in God. Amen? It opens up, see, some of us, we desire to prophesy, but we have no foundation of the word. You cannot prophesy beyond your knowledge of the Word. Everything that you're speaking for, it ought to be backed up in the Word of God. Amen? Deuteronomy says, uh, 29 and 29, it says, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed. Somebody said those things which are revealed. Talking about us now. Amen? The secret things belong to God. Amen? Let me read that again. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. That's a whole lot packed in that one scripture. We want to just deal with us. Amen? That which is revealed is our portion. That that God has released from heaven belongs to us. And not only us, our children. Some of us, we got to pass along. That that we have received. That that we receive on our face. Anybody ever got some revelation on your face? Amen. When God begins to open up uh, uh, his, his, his understanding to you and begin to show you things that's going on in the earth. Amen. Warning you about things. Pass it on to your sons and your daughters. Amen. You began to understand this word of God. Pass it on to those children, praise God. Amen. That they might be able to, to grow and mature in the ways of the Lord and get to that place, praise God, that they began to walk into words of, of the book that God has written that beyond you. I thank God for the youth that are coming up behind us. I believe that they ought to exceed and excel beyond anything we accomplish because so many resources they have been received even from their youth. And some of us, we, it was in our middle age where we began to understand the ways of the Lord. But now it's just open. The book is open. We can speak. Oh, well, you, 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 
you hit the right buttons, you can, your message can go forth in another language to those that are unlearned in other, in other places in the world. Amen. And our kids, my God, they got it. You, you, my granddaughter, when she was a little girl, we didn't know what to do with these phones. And give it to her. She is, <laughs> that is granny. <laughs> they know. They know. But in all of this, let us deal with the, the issues of this world today. We still have to govern them, watch over them. They can get over in a path that leads to destruction because everything is open up. You got to know who the author is of those things that you're quoting and those things that you're walking behind and those groups that all of a sudden you lifting up their banner. There's some crazy stuff going on in America right now. We are gathering with some heathens. Now, I don't need to call. Do some research and find out who the heathens are. There's some heathens out there that's leading our people down a road of destruction, not even remembering the history of our own nation. All of a sudden, the attackers of our nations are right. It's some crazy out there, y'all. Let us pray for our youth That's, that they won't self-destruct. See, I don't want to get too deep over into politics today, but it's crazy out there. Amen. We need to develop a hunger and a thirst for those hidden treasures to be found in the Word of God. God, I want more of your Word. I, I, I mean, if we could search this word for thousands of years, it's, it's still more to be revealed. There's so much more. See, some of us, we, we, we know the letter. We, we can quote the scripture, but do you have a revelation of that word? What does that word mean to you in this dispensation of time? Oh, my God. Search it out. Amen. We're going to close with this scripture. Romans 11. 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom of and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. <laughs> My God, that makes you want to just go, just go deeper now. He got, he got some stuff so deep that I ain't even tapped in yet. God, I want it. But who have known the mind of the Lord or who have been his counselor? Or who have first given to him, and it shall be re recompensed unto him again. For of him and through him and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. God be the glory for all these precious things, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, love, joy, peace, whatever you need to search out, we give him the glory. And it's unsearchable. If we can search it out and search it out, we will never understand the whole capacity of our Father. Heaven, the creator of heaven and earth. Give the Lord a hand and praise for his word. I thank God for a develop. See, some of us, we just develop a hunger and a thirst. Anybody ever been in a good restaurant where that, where that chef know how to put the spices together? You walk up in there, and, and the aroma is so good, you start to ask in the service, what is that that I smell? It's so pleasant to my nostrils. Have you tasted it? Y'all, y'all, that kind of customer, you ask in the service, what, 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 what you think? I've never been here before. I, but, but what's good? What you like? Oh, my God. It's so pleasant up in here. And some, we, we, we at the banquet table today. Just pick what you can. It's, it's all yours. Just, just pick what you like, what you think is, is applicable to you. I want that. Take it as your own. Somebody out there, the Lord has a blessing for you. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ. He lived and walked on the earth. He came and he was willing to suffer, die, give his life for you. 
They killed him. They buried him. He rose from the dead. He did all that that you might have life, new life. All you have to do is cry out to God that he would give you eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. Ask him to come into your life and save you, and he will do that. Salvation is your portion today just because you tune in. Find yourself a Bible-believing church. We're again at Wings of Eagles, 1418 Avondale Drive in Durham. If you're not in this area, find yourself another church that preaches and teaches the Word of God and lives it out. Somebody else want to sow into this ministry, just follow the prompts that are on the screen, and we'll gladly receive that we might advance the kingdom. We bless you all. Join us again next Wednesday at 7, and again next uh, Sunday morning as we begin our service at 11 p.m. live. God bless you. We love you. Give the Lord a hand praise. Thank you for joining our service today. We believe that your life will be changed through this message. If you would like to learn more about Wings of Eagles Christian Church, please visit woechristianchurch.com. Tap the About tab to know our pastors. Tap Contact to connect with us. Feel free to also see Inside Woe. On Sunday we have a virtual Thrive teaching on Facebook at 9.30 and in-person corporate worship at 11 a.m. with our full band and praise team. In keeping with our mission and vision, Woe has many ministries designed to train, equip, and provide hands-on support to every member of your family. If you would like to make a donation, then feel free to give via text message. Step 1. Text GIVE25 or any other amount to 919-551-3675. Step 2. Follow the prompts. Step 3. Register your credit or debit card. It's only required for the first time only. Join us virtually on Facebook at 7 p.m. on Wednesday evening for Life Class. Visit us in person at 1418 Avondale Drive, Durham, North Carolina, 27701 Suite 15. Hey, if you're still down, don't stay grounded. Get up and soar high.